G'day everyone, welcome to my channel Life Unpacked. I hope you are well. In today's video, we are kicking off with the series that is Study in Australia. And we are going to talk about the very first episode in the series, which is Do Your Research. So let's get straight into it. What do I mean by when I say do your research? Now, this is how I um, look at it with my journey you know, when I started my journey in Australia as an international student back in 2015. So it's about seven years now that I am in Australia and I am an Australian citizen now. But back then, one thing that I today think is could have done more of was my research in terms of, you know, what, what should I study? You know, and how much scope there is for something that I'm planning on studying here in Australia, right? Now, were my plans distorted by not doing enough research? Absolutely not. But if I had a robust plan in place, I reckon I could have done more with what I am currently doing or probably I would have found a better way at doing things and getting here where I am today a lot faster probably, right? Um, but of course, no regrets and, you know, um, everything's really great at the moment. But I reckon every person that wants to go overseas, irrespective of the country they want to go to, um, it is important that they have a plan in place for all those contingent uh, problems that may arise during their journey as an international student, especially after COVID, right? Things are changing, the market landscape, the dynamics are changing. And so is, you know, the scope of what you study um, and the job market available for that particular profession that you will be in, right? So it's extremely important you answer this question of mine what and where does your passion lie in right now why am i asking this question i studied engineering here in australia right and i had previously done an undergraduate in engineering i also studied a diploma in engineering and of course um the one thing that my parents and everybody wanted me to do was yes you go overseas but you study engineering because you've already done engineering for quite a few years I was hardly interested in engineering. I reckon that's the story with so many engineers these days is there are very few, a handful of engineers out there that are absolutely passionate about the technical side of it. But there are also some people that have other passions, you know, whether they want to work in, in education, they want to work in mass media communication, they want to work in marketing, HR. So many other professions are available out there. So it's important you answer this question and you've got to be honest with yourself. You've got to be honest with your parents or anybody that has, you know, a role in making that decision for you. Okay, now you might think oh, it's really hard convincing your parents or, you know, people that come and um, talk to you about making a firm decision about what you should be studying. I reckon take it from me is when you follow your passion, you automatically love what you're going to study. And if there is scope for what you're going to study, which we will get to in a while, but you know, when there's scope for what you study and you're also passionate at the same time, there's not one day you're going to work. You know, when you do something that you're passionate about, you do it out of love and not because you are forced to do it, right? So yeah, make sure you, what you're passionate about, doesn't matter if you're currently studying engineering, okay? None of that knowledge would go waste because at the end of the day, it gives you those transferable skills, you know, that will help you sustain in an overseas environment. Okay. So yeah, make sure, you know, you always study what you really love and what you want to. So if you are looking, you know, if you're really passionate or curious to explore the marketing side of the world or say, you know, just mass media communication, if you're really good, you know, with uh, talking to people and if you want to explore the, um, um, you know, the hosting kind of, you know, hosting some sort of show or being a journalist, for example, you, you know, your, your interest might lie there or even becoming a lawyer. You never know, right? So if you are passionate about one of these things, you really need to be firm and letting, of course, your parents know in the first place, but also not lying to yourself is you don't want to get out of your comfort zone for the sake of it. Get out of your comfort zone go abroad and study but also because you're passionate about it and you know that because it's your passion no matter how many hardships you face no matter how many ups and downs you face you still make it to the other end because somewhere in your heart you know you know that the decision you made was for yourself and not somebody else that made it for you 
right? So yeah, that's really extremely important. The second most important thing, if you were to come in Australia is what cities, you know, what major cities are available for you to go and study at. So you've definitely got Melbourne and Sydney as the two major cities here in Australia, extremely popular when it comes to international students. But then you also have cities like um, Brisbane, which is in Queensland. Um, and then you've got Adelaide, um, in, which is in South Australia, or Tasmania, which is um, so the Hobart uh, University, which is in Tasmania, right? So lots of other universities, but it's it's extremely crucial you make you know you understand what cities are available and how how much how many international students travel to these cities on a yearly or a semester basis and how friendly are they in terms of international students, right? So it's extremely important that you find this information. All of this information is easily available on Google. Okay, so all you have to do is, you know, go on your laptop or your computer, type, you know, how is Melbourne for international students? And it'll give you so many articles. And trust me, because I am in Melbourne, Melbourne is actually one of the most beautiful cities that an international student can think of when it comes to Australia. But Sydney, on the other hand, too, is also extremely beautiful. Right? So that's number one. Second, once you know what your passion lies in, look how many universities are there in Australia offering that particular course. Let's say you're studying engineering and you are passionate about doing engineering when you are here you know, in Australia. See what universities are offering a master's of engineering, for example. So if you've done an undergraduate, see how many universities are offering masters of engineering. So all you have to do again on Google is type in masters of engineering Melbourne. Okay, it will actually bring you heaps of, you know, a list of universities that are offering the program with different variations. Now, how do you make sure which universities are the good universities? I would give you a tip, right? So you say you first take a list of top 50 universities in Australia. Okay, keep a list of those top 50 universities on a separate sheet of paper. And then now you go and look at Masters of Engineering in Melbourne. Okay, whichever universities you see, compare them with your list of top 50. See if those universities are there in top 50 and then go into those universities and see what exactly, what kind of engineering program are they offering? Because you, you know, you sure should, should be behind one particular program it would be mechanical engineering, civil or say, you know, any other kind of engineering or any other course that you want to study like an MBA or mass media communication. So that's going to be extremely important to see. You know, if they are in those top 50 universities because you want to study from a reputed university here in Australia. Um, and that will also have an impact on you searching for a job in the job market. OK, and that really it's a beautiful segue into our third thing. What you know that you should be researching is the job market available. So I'm giving you this link here that is seek.com. Seek is pretty much um, the biggest um, job search website here in Australia. So all you have to do is go on seek. And you just have to type those keywords in. So if you're studying you know, mechanical engineering, for example, you just have to type those keywords, say mechanical engineer. And then you have to filter it by the city that you'd be you know, wanting to work in. So you can either sort it by Australia as a nation, as a whole country, or you can filter it by Melbourne, Sydney, or whichever city you're planning to go to. Okay, see how many jobs are available. Now, don't run behind the salary numbers there. Salary numbers can be deceiving sometimes, but see how many jobs are available. That will give you an idea of how popular that particular profession here in Australia is. For example, if I was to tell you automobile engineering in Australia, there's hardly any scope here. So you might struggle to find a job here in Australia in that specific field. Whereas on the other hand, if you were to find a mechanical engineer or civil engineer, you've got thousands of jobs available. So it gives you a really good hint around how many jobs are available. The only reason I'm stressing about the jobs is because at the end of the day, when you are graduating, job is going to be extremely important, not just to keep you afloat, but there will come a time in your life where you have to take full responsibility for the decision you've made to go overseas and study and also make sure that you are planning on getting a good lifestyle. You're making you know, your parents' lives happy, who've invested so much in your growth, you know, sending you overseas. So yeah, study the job market and that also becomes an important component of your research. Okay. So yeah, this is what I really wanted to do is in this video, I pretty much really wanted to get that message across to everybody out there thinking about planning to go overseas and study, follow your passion, 
see what courses and in which cities are they available and of course how many jobs are available especially when it comes to australia it is going to be important for you because from my experience when i studied engineering i'm no longer working in engineering but yes those skills are definitely helping me you know um, day in day out so none of the studies that you've done in the past or currently doing is going to be a waste but following your passion will just help you you know develop more confidence in terms of um, adapting um, to the australian marketplace and also help you really make a firm place for yourself in this country so i hope you enjoyed this video today in the next episode we're going to talk about a lot more about um, the financial side of it so stay tuned for that episode in the meantime have fun enjoy and i'll see you next week bye for now Thank you.